guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. Today I'm bringing you guys 10 brand new Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm gonna be using them in a tier tray, but you can use them around your home, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna show you guys 10 $1 DIYs. This video is sponsored by Top Cash Back. And if you haven't heard of topcashback.com, it is just a really easy way to earn money by shopping online. The sign up is super easy. You just enter your email and a password. I already have a login, so I am just logging in here to show you how easy it is to shop on Top Cash Back. So I'm just gonna be typing in the Dollar Tree. It's one of my favorite places to shop, and you can earn 4% cash back when you are through Top Cash Back's website. And right now I'm just gonna be logging in here. And then if you do shop by department, at the bottom it says smaller quantities. And I know we don't always want 20 to 30 items of the same from Dollar Tree's website. So I love the smaller quantities because you can actually browse through here and they have items, you can pick three, you can buy four of them and that is the minimum. You guys know I love these crates. <laughs> so you can only have, you only have to buy four at a time, which I would probably buy way more than that. I also love being able to browse and check out what is going to be in the stores for the fall time or if you cannot find them in your store, you can always order them online as well. Top Cash Back has over 4,000 retailers including Amazon, Walmart, Dollar General, Michaels, Lowe's, eBay, a lot of the places that you probably already shop online. Right now, Top Cash Back has a $10 sign up bonus, and they do offer 100% of the commission back to members because they consistently feature higher rates than competitors. There's also no minimum payout, which is also really amazing. So, if you make $10, you can redeem that through PayPal or your bank account or gift cards. Also, there is a Top Cashback browser extension that you can download so it's just one click away from saving money. But also if you use my link in the description box, you will gain a $10 sign up bonus when you spend $25 or more. These frames, I just decided to add some scrap of paper, take out the little dog paws. I picked up the scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby and then I'm just gonna be adding these little chalkboard tags, these chalkboard signs right to the center. These are from Dollar General, they were a dollar a piece, so I thought I would add dollar items um, into this video as well. So I just took the backing off and then I'm just using my Chalk Couture transfers. If you, guys, if you are new, you don't know, I absolutely love Chalk Couture. I love using their transfers. I just think it kind of leaves such a high-end look. If you guys want to check out Chalk Couture as well, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But they're just like sticky stencils you can reuse over and over again. You use the chalk paste, clean them up when you're done, and the stickiness comes back after you clean them up and wipe them away. So I just used these as the little chalkboards and then glued them right to the center of the Dollar Tree frames. This one is super easy. You'll just need a canvas from Dollar Tree and I just decided to paint the canvas black because I wanted to use another transfer with Chalk Couture and it was not staying on the canvas when it wasn't painted. It still kind of didn't stay on because the canvas just doesn't work for these transfers. I had a heck of a time uh, but it still turned out really good. I did mess up just a tiny bit because the transfer was not on there hundred percent. So I just wiped it away so if you do end up messing up a Chalk Couture you can just take a q-tip take a little wet paper towel and it wipes away amazingly so you wouldn't even know that I messed up and this is what this DIY looks like it is just a really simple one using a tag from Dollar General I'm just gonna pop this little piece off I'm gonna reuse it afterwards because it kind of makes the tag using some 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 glue it's a glue stick I'm using a glue stick and some scrap of paper and then I'm putting that little piece back on because like I said it, it needs that little spot it needs that for a tag I don't know what it's called uh, anyways I'm using another tag painting it black and this is just gonna go in the center of the larger tag I just grabbed the piece of twine that it was already on once and I just tied it back together because like I said I wanted it to look how it was but just a little bit different Found these cute farmhouse stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be adding a few to the center of the tag. It was super easy to do. That is it for this one.
this one I picked up a galvanized house from Dollar Tree. It has screws in the back so I just unscrewed them so I could do a little bit of painting with this. I decided not to leave it galvanized. I'm just using Waverly chalk paint in white so I can have a cute little white house that kind of fits my decor just a little bit better and I just really liked it. I know some people like looking for the galvanized things, but there's so much more that you could do with these. So if you see these at the store and you're like, I don't know what to do with a galvanized item, you could paint it. Using a rub-on transfer along with these farmhouse stickers, adding it to the center, dry brushing it with this like cottage green mint color. This is milk paint. I know I'm not using it right, but I love the color and I really thought it matched the wreath, so I had to had to do it, and I love the way this little house turned out. This one's really easy as well. A little handle holder and some rub-on transfers. I'm just taking some of those rub-on transfers, adding them right to the center, and then adding a battery-operated tea light candle to this. Super easy, that's all I did here. Using this sign, the venture is spelled wrong, but I was always 100% okay with that because I thought these little tags or these little signs looked really cute anyways. Using some scrapbook paper that I used in the first DIY or the second one or both really, I just really like using up items that I pick up. And I just put the screws back together, added a farmhouse sticker. That is it for this one. How easy. I'm just using a wood piece from Walmart. It was 98 cents, but I know you can find very similar items at Dollar Tree as well. They always have a ton of wood pieces. Using that same minty, cottagey green color in the milk paint, like I said, I know I'm not using it right, but I have it, I want to use it, and I really like this color on wood. So I went with that, painted the entire thing. I decided to use another chalk couture transfer. This one right here says Country Kitchen, bringing home the bacon. I love the little pig at the top. I love using Chalk Couture. This is just with their ink color. I think it's called ink. It's black, either way. Uh, and I'm just gonna be rubbing on the paste and then pulling it right off. And I love like the vintage look this always leaves. I think it's just really cool looking. And this is just another really easy thing you can add to a shelf, add to a tier tray, add to your decor. Two of these little wooden boxes. These are from Michaels. These were 99 cents and I'm just painting them with the Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I'm just gonna be adding some really cute farmhouse stickers once again. Like I said, if you're gonna buy something, you might as well use them over and over and over again until you don't have any more stickers or until you don't have any more scrapbook paper. Um, I love this truck. I'm still a fan of the truck. I know some people are a little bored of it, but I tell you right now, I love it and I love decorating with it. This one I'm just adding a cow and some hearts and then I'm just going to be dry brushing it black just to give it kind of a distressed look. have a bunch of these little cubed inserts from the cubes from Dollar Tree. I feel like that you always use the outsides of them and never the insides so I did save this one. I know it has a heart on the back side but you know what you can just turn it around nobody will ever see it. Painting this black and then of course I'm going to be adding some of these farmhouse stickers. I picked up two packs of these so they're a little bit different really love these. I use these in previous DIYs with Dollar Tree items. They just kind of make a whole like farmhouse vintage feel. I love them. They're really fun to use and they can decorate a nice little wooden cubed insert for a little bit of money. Dry brushing white and then you can add a really fun like little plant or greenery, flowers, a candle, whatever you want to add to this to make it your own. This is the milk paint that I'm using by Folk Art. It is called Cottage Green. I picked up two of these wooden trucks from Dollar Tree. These are cute. I haven't seen these in a long time. I don't know if I've ever seen them. Maybe something similar last year. I think they had candles in them or something like that. Anyways, painting one the Cottage Green, another one black. And that's actually all I did to these. I think this just makes a, like a little fun extra piece for a tear tray or a shelf. This 
last one, I picked up three of these little milk bottles. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are super cute. They say dairy on them with little cows. The only thing I did to these was paint them white. I used Waverly chalk paint because it dries fast and it just works easy for me. I did two coats. This worked perfect. If you want to do something different, just stress them. You could add some little cow spots on them. So many different things. I decided to leave them white since it kind of matched what I was going with right now. And this is what they look like. And then I just added everything to a tier tray. This tier tray, I actually picked up at Michael's when they had their 70% off sale. I think it's still going on. I'm not really sure. Um, but I love the way all these Dollar Tree items turned out. I honestly think when you have everything together and grouped, you cannot even tell all of these items were only a dollar. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out my link in the description box below to sign up for Top Cash Back. Right now, they are giving you a $10 sign up bonus when you spend $25 or more using the Top Cash Back app. But that is it, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.